What we're going to do here is show you how to use the SFTP task to upload a directory of, of files using a file filter so that we only upload XML files from our local directory. So what we're going to do is configure this to upload a directory to a server. Uh, and then we're going to choose a local file path. In this case, what we're choosing is C XML or SSIS XML files. It's a flat file or a file connection. And we're going to choose that. And we're going to add our filter here. Now the filter, what it uses is this directory.getfiles that's part of .NET. And so if you look right here, directory.getfiles, it shows you the couple of wildcard specifiers that you can use. You can use the asterisk or you can use the question mark. And in this case, what we're going to do is just use star.xml. Now if you wanted to use something else like tf underscore xml to get any XML files to start with tf underscore, you could do that. But in this case, we're just going to use star xml. Next, what we're going to do is uh, just choose our connection manager. There's other videos and tutorials on how to set up your connection manager. And then we're going to choose a remote directory. In this case, what we're going to do is choose our task factory directory. But if you just want to upload it to the root directory, just leave this blank and it will upload it. And finally, we're going to overwrite our remote files. I'm going to click OK. And when we run this, what we're going to see is that the directory, the local directory, has four files in it, but three XML. So you're going to see it upload these three XML files and ignore that zip file. And we can see that going on right here. So it copied the copy XML, this one, and this one, and ignored that zip file. That's it. That's how simple it is to upload a directory of files from your local server using a file filter.